Welcome back to Tenorshare. If your iPad suddenly isn't charging and is stuck on the charging screen and you can't turn it on, it might be a system issue or a hardware problem. Here are several ways to help you get your iPad back to life. Let's try. I know you might have already tried to charge it, but sometimes your iPad simply needs a cleaner charging port or a better charger. Make sure there are no foreign objects or moisture in the charging port. Sometimes a damaged charging cable can cause unstable charging or even damage your iPad's charging port. Let it charge for at least 15 minutes and see what happens. You can also try out a wireless charger or try a different power source if that is an option to you. If your iPad is still stuck on the charging screen, it may be a system frozen or an error. Before taking your iPad to a repair shop, we can try some system fixes. Let's start with a force restart. It's simple and safe to try without losing any data. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Then the volume down button. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. Like this. Until you see the Apple logo. Then charge your iPad to see if this helps. If your iPad is still unresponsive, this may be a system error. You can try to fix this with a system tool. Method 3. Fix iPad stuck on the charging screen with Reiboot. Reiboot is an all-in-one repair software that can resolve over 150 iOS stuck issues. Including the iPad not charging issue, you can download Reiboot from the link below on your computer. Then connect your iPad with an official cable and click the green start button in the system repair area. Choose system repair to fix your device without data loss. Usually, it can automatically detect your iPad, but if your iPad was shut down or have issue with the charging port, Reiboot might guide you to put your iPad in recovery mode. It's simple, just like a force restart, but press the power button longer. Press the volume up button then the volume down button, and then long press the power button until your device enters the support interface. Once you reach the download page, download the matching firmware to repair your iPad error free. The download speed depends on your internet speed. When it's done, click system repair to let it scan and fix the system. Although it's a paid version, it's the most cost-effective way to try to fix your iPad's not charging issue because when you go to the repair store, that may cost you more. When the system repair is done, your iPad will return to normal without data loss. If all these methods were not helping, this might be a hardware problem. You can try the heating method we mentioned next. Method 4. Fix iPad stuck on charging screen with a heating pad. If your iPad hasn't been used for a long time or is an older model, the battery might not be very active. You can try using a heating pad to reactivate the battery. Remember to disconnect the charging cable while doing this. And don't set the temperature too high. Leave your iPad on the heating pad for about 15 minutes, then try charging it again to turn it on. This method can help stimulate the battery and potentially resolve the charging issue. Then try charging it again to turn it on. If none of these methods work, it might be a hardware issue. In this case, it's best to visit an Apple store or an authorized service provider for further assistance. They can diagnose the problem and suggest repairs or replacements if necessary. That's all for today. I hope these methods help you fix your iPad's charging issue. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. Or leave a comment with any question, whether it related or not. We are always here to help. See you next time.